Now the water that was pallets stacked up yesterday at the front door and here in the aisles and it's gone. So in a matter of 24 hours. So Brian, oh, why are you here today? Just picking up some some extra stuff just to have on hand. I was gonna grab a couple things of water. You know, we, we grabbed toilet paper over the weekend. It was funny to come back in the next day and see the signs up like limit two per, per you know, per person. Greg, just what are your thoughts on like all these people being out, uh, stocking up on things? Well, hopefully they're, you know, doing the right thing, being safe, but we're kind of worried that we're, people are getting a little over, overly concerned, but uh, better safe than sorry. The health department's done a great job. Paul Pettit get, gotten out a lot of information from the county that's been very important, very eye-opening for legislators. So it's, uh, it's kind of a scary time, but you know, we just be safe and you know, do, what we're, do what they're telling us, wash our hands, keep, uh, keep safe distance. So it's about do you all think we can it's, do right now. Uh, do you think it's a uh, good precaution or overreaction? Probably a little bit of both. You know, I think that the risk is very low, but you can never be too safe. Um, you keep getting things from the state that are kind of scary. Uh, some 14 new counties have uh, cases, the last I heard. So, so I guess it's better safe than sorry. What do you think of like all the people here today? I don't know. I think it. I think it's okay to be prepared. I think people should be prepared, especially if you have kids at home and stuff like that. I, I think. I don't think it's going to be as bad as everybody. You know, if you get sick, you get sick. It's gonna be like the flu. I just think it's because there's an unknown factor. So everybody is worried because there's not enough information out there. It's hardly reached us yet. It has a pretty low fatality rate, except for the old and disabled and immunocompromised. So I, I think that we don't have as much to fear as we think we do. But, what do uh, you guys, what's kind of the discussion at the legislature level about this and what maybe the county's response should be? Uh, we're basically just following the health department and what the state's putting out. I mean, they're the experts, so we're kind of, uh, uh, Paul does a great job and he's very thorough. It was kind of eye-opening. His first email I thought was a little over the top, but now the, the way this week's unfolded, it's uh, he really did a good job of putting a plan together for the county.